Hi, this is Heather Straczynski and Danielle Rodriguez. We're with Roundtable Realty. And this is another episode of Real Talk. So, um, as you notice, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We are doing this from home. We're improvising. We're improvising due to lockdowns and COVID-19. And so um, today we want to go over homeowner's insurance. And why it's important to get it in the very beginning. We recommend shopping for it in the first 10 days Mm because in our area, that's your normal due diligence period. So you want to find out everything you can in those first 10 days. Right. And we actually have a really good reason behind this. Well, there are a lot of things that you can find out from getting homeowner's insurance. Well, if there was a claim made on the roof, right, which completely happened to our clients. Mm-hmm. They made a claim on the roof saying the roof was damaged. It was like a $20,000 claim and they never replaced the roof with that money. They just took the money. So when our clients went to go get insurance, they had to prove that there was a brand new roof on the house which there wasn't. We were luckily able to get the binder back for them, but it was well beyond the day, the number of days that they were able to do that, so. Yeah, because that was not disclosed. No. We try to help as much as we can, so we put together a timeline for our clients. It may be a little unorthodox, but we have everything step-by-step of what you need to do, Mm -hmm. and we try to combat these things before they even happen, before they become an issue. There's a lot of different circumstances. You know, we had another client who didn't know that the homeowner's insurance that they wanted uh, required any roof older than 15 years old to be replaced. Mm -hmm. We advise them to shop around also, but it's they found that out early enough right. where they had time, which, you know, if you kind of look at some of these things, if you find, you wait till the end to do this and you find this out a couple of days before closing, that could be a really big problem. The, the client with the pool, mm-hmm. $60,000 claim. And they didn't know about it. The seller did not disclose it. And the claim wasn't even closed out. So they couldn't get insurance on the house. And a lot of times even getting the quotes kind of raised some issues of, things that you wouldn't even think that you would need more insurance on. Flood zone, apparently yeah. there's wind tunnel zones. I tried to buy a house that was in a wind tunnel zone and the insurance was like double. <laughs> we didn't buy that one. Yeah. So uh, just homeowner's insurance. Take it from us, shop in the first 10 days. Yes. So this was another episode of Real Talk. Thank you so much. If you guys want more information, please visit our YouTube channel that's listed below. See you guys next time.